What up gamers, Horse Harry here. Today my Minecraft sound isn't working, but I still want to record a video. Um, so what I was thinking today would, was I want to test out how well the Monster Hunter set. So the Creeper Pants, Skeleton Helmet, um, Guardian Chestplate, and, well, Tarantula Boots work against Revs as a mid to late, I guess, game player. I have full strong with Tarantula Helm. Um, and I have all the Slayer weapons and all the Slayers at level 6, so um, I might be able to fare decently well against a Rev using this armor set. So this video was inspired by uh, Ice Blade 11's video about talking about the Monster Hunter set. I already had, I got, I, I got the set uh, as an impulse buy because I was bored one day. So I think I'm going to try it using first Reaper Falchion, which is the best possible sword that I can use for this. So, because this is meant for revs, and then I'm gonna try it using my pigman sword, which it's crit six. It's pretty good. As um, I do, I can do 40k um, to zealot or to enderman with it. Um, in full strong, I think 40, 45, I'm not sure. This, the reforges on this armor isn't ideal, but I think it's, because I'm definitely not going to get great damage out of reforges on this, because it's, it's, um, it's rare armor, so the reforges do a lot less, but I think strong and unpleasant is probably some of the best I can get. Um, so there we go, full growth and prot. I mean, I could put like, um, aqua affinity or whatever on the helmet but I, realistically i'm probably not going to use this set unless it like amazes me so i'm going to put this on um that's okay i need to get the boots out of my backpack uh where are they tarantula boots and then i get the full set bonus monster raider take 35 percent less damage when being attacked by monsters and deal 35 percent more damage when being attacked by monsters so i'm gonna I'm gonna test the max damage I can do, no pots. Uh, I have to put some stuff away first. <clears throat> so this is gonna be using Pigman Pet and Pigman Sword. And that's, so that's with a level 50 Pigman Pet. So I'm not sure if the ability works on Enderman. Let's see, 45k damage. That's, wait, that's what I, ooh. So, 44, 8. So that's, that's way more damage than I thought. So let's put on my strong and um, I do 48,000, okay. So I definitely do more damage in strong than I do in monster raider, but I don't do bad damage. It's 48,000. Um, for reference, if I'm wearing no armor at all, I do, uh, well, if I, I do 32,000 on a non-crit. Um, so that's some good damage and there's a dragon right now. So I'm gonna do that. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. No, I'm missing it, no. I'm gonna do more damage testing. So first I wanna see, so the last test, I wanna see what I do in full young. So this is full unpleasant young, which I, I reforged it to unpleasant so I could have higher crit chance when farming zealots. So that's 32,000. So this is way more than young armor and it damage at least damage wise it's still it still is good it's like 4k less than strong i would like to see how well it does not with unstable or versus unstable i'm not sure the damage that you can get on that so i'm gonna withdraw uh 50k and then i'm gonna start up a tier 4 rev um i'm only taking out 50k because i might die and i, I don't want to break my piggy bank because that would just be a loss of um like 20 another 20k this is going to be using reaper falchion and i am going to be placing a mana flux so that might skew my the fact that i have mana flux is going to make me a lot better than with radiant or something because i get twice the healing of radiant plus five strength i don't the mana regen doesn't matter as much so i should check what my damage against zombies is if it's 
it should be just a bit less than strong i'm thinking like 40k oh 57 that's first strike though i want to test oh perfect this golden ghoul's taking damage so uh 55 okay okay that's pretty good so 55k non first strike hit of course um giant killer definitely affected that but it's good oh revenant champion I would like to actually to have all my bones when I'm doing the rev, because that's not a thing that I was considering, or that I was thinking about. Um, I wasn't, I forgot that the bones existed, <laughs> honestly. Um, so I'm going to try and wait for them to regen, because that's going to, uh, it's going to give me a huge disadvantage not having them, right? Um... I don't know how long it takes for them to regen. Oh, 30 seconds. So I'm going to have to wait a minute and 30 seconds for all of them to regen. So I'll just spawn it. Oh no, I lost all the nullification or whatever from... So, ooh, I'm not taking that much damage actually. That's... I, I'm healing a lot, definitely, but I am not taking a lot of damage. Now the real qu the question is, can I survive, basically? Um... Also, why is my uh, mana flux on fire? <laughs> I, so, oh, that's a lot better than I thought it was. So I thought this was going to be way worse, but that actually, that went really well. So I'm going to do this one with Wolf Pet and Pigman Sword, because this is a more, I guess, realistic build for someone to have. I might actually try doing one with a Radiant Power Orb instead of um, Mana Flux. So I only, I do way less damage with this sword. I do 27k. Well, okay, that's still a lot of damage, right? But it's a lot less than 50k. <laughs> right? Ooh, and then all my things popped, so I, I'm kind of screwed if I actually go into the roof. I don't have my Guardian chest plate. The thing about using Pigman over a um reaper falchion is that you're gonna do um less damage which means that it's a lot harder to kill the i think like deformed revenants or whatever they're called the guys in red that do like half your health in a hit uh he's still there so i might be able to kill him yeah i should be able to kill him here you have to keep your distance um See, there you go, easy. Let's place my that, my mana flux. Um, it's gonna be a lot harder to kill this guy. I almost thought my server was restarting for a second. Um, yeah, I'm doing, I have way less healing. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm like not doing hot, too hot, but I'm also, I'm not, so, hmm, I'm not dying, which is surprising. I, I, whoa. Oh, fuck. So I forgot that he's actually going to be able to get to that phase. Um, snap out of it. Because uh, usually when I fight them, I do him fast enough that he never goes into that. There we go. Okay, so if you're doing this with like an AOTD or something, you're definitely going to have to watch out for that. Um, I completely forgot that they did that. And there we go. We we took like no damage of course that was using mana flux so i'm gonna try this again but with a radiant power orb i think i have one lying around so i have a i have a radiant right here my minions are full so um <laughs> i should probably change that so this is probably the least optimal setup you could use with this set so radiant power orb pigman pet or wolf pet i mean and uh pigman sword so this is going to be less damage than AOTD, and I'm going to be uh, taking a lot more damage because I have a Radiant instead of a Mana Flux. Radiant is half the healing of a Mana Flux, and I don't get that 5 strength. Um, or the Mana Regen. So I might not be able to do it with this. But if I am, that's going to be pretty good. Uh-oh, um, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, crap, crap, crap. Oh, my creeper pants saved me there. So, that's a good... 
Okay. We got the kill. Uh, so that's gonna spawn it? Or not? <laughs> two kills away. Or not two, but... Crap, crap, crap. Okay, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that. That's... I'm so undergeared. So... Ah, oh, god, my guardian chest plate broke. Um... So, okay. Yeah, without a mana flux, it's a different story. I'm at half health right now. I am staying alive due to lifesteal, uh, but not very well. I'm gonna die here. So, okay. Oh no, oh no, yeah, okay. In retrospect, I may have been able to do that rev, but a combination of lag and me thinking my mana flux wasn't down made me fail. My consensus about a Monster Raider set, it's, it's a good set, right? Um, it's not the best set in the game. I outdamage it by a lot in the strong, but the survivability is kind of insane, right? You get four hits nullified. If you're under 20% HP, the Creeper Pants will knock things away. And you saw with that Deformed Revenant, um, that basically saved me from death. It's a great ability for Slayer, I think, I guess. So could this be the new set for Slayer? Um, maybe? So the one issue is that since it's all, um, it's... It's all rare armor, except for the boots, you're going to have a lot less crit chance from your armor. So that could have made a difference, I guess. Should you buy Monster Raider set? Maybe. I'm going to, I think this might be my new set for revs. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but it seems it works pretty well. Actually, I thought I would do a lot worse, but I, I mean, I was pleasantly surprised by this. Um, Especially using my Reaper Falchion with my Pigman pet. I just, I destroyed that rep. Like, it died super fast. Another little editor's note here. So I forgot to talk about price. Um, the Monster Hunter set is about 4 to 5 mil. So it's not too expensive, but it'll run you up a bit. Anyways, that's all I have time for today. Um, I don't know. Get the set if you want it pretty decent forget to like and subscribe if you want if you uh, i don't care if you forget <laughs> it would be nice if you did but i don't care that much thanks for watching guys this has been horse scary and i am out i will see you in another like five months or something probably <laughs>